Okay, so this is uh, unit one, lesson one, and let's just do the warm up here. So um, from now on, these are going to be in three videos warm up, explore, and practice. So let's do the warm up. Um, so, order of operations. Order of operations, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or PEMDAS parentheses, exponents, and then multiply or end or divide as you come to them left to right, and then add and subtract, okay? Um, PEMDAS comes into play when you're working with expressions. Um, an algebraic expression is a mathematical phrase that can, can contain ordinary numbers, also variables, letters that stand for numbers and operators so all those things are coming into play like all of these here these are expressions okay these are equations because they have the equal sign okay these have no equal sign just because i write an equal on there and kind of reduce this into one term doesn't mean it's automatically in turned into an equation it is existing kind of as an expression that was given to you to work through so for um, equations, you have to have the equal sign, which connects two mathematical expressions. Their values are equal, okay? So this value has to equal this value. That's by definition of this sign, okay? Variable term is a term that contains at least one variable, or and a variable is a letter that represents a number that can change. So this here... That's a variable term. This X is the variable. It's the letter that stands for whatever number we decide it stands for. And when they do substitution problems, they'll tell you what to put in for X to substitute in to X when we work on that problem. Okay, but that's a variable term. All right, so let's work with this first one, um, 2A here. get my key together make sure I'm doing the right thing all right so um, this is 8 minus the sum of or the difference of excuse me 8 minus the difference of 4 and negative 12 would be one way to say that so parentheses first because it's an expression so 8 minus negative 8 and because it is a double negative you turn it into a positive, negative. So if you minus a negative, that's a double negative, so it's a positive. You're not not going to open the door. You're going to open the door. So a double negative is a positive, so you're adding and you get 16. Um, this one also has this here in the parentheses, makes this. This is parentheses, but we didn't really do anything in there. But this is 8 times negative 1 times negative 8. So these are three terms multiplied together. Um, so two negatives make a positive, positive times 8. So this is really 8 times 8 or 64. Okay. Um, this one is an, ex an algebraic expression with a variable. So it has a variable term and a constant term. We'll talk about that more in a minute. Um, and it says the x is going to be a negative 2 plus 7. So this first, negative 3 times negative 2 is a 6 plus 7 is 13. All right. Now the expressions. These numbers are all like terms, so I'm just going to kind of add and subtract them together. Put them in my calculator. Remember, this is the same as 8 minus 15 minus 12. This is the exact same thing as this thing. There's two different ways to write that. So we're still picking up our calculator and going 8 minus 15 minus 12. Okay. That is going to add up to a negative 19. And then we're going to look at this side, this algebraic expression on this side, which is part of the algebraic equation. And we're going to solve that using PEMDAS. So keep the 5... 1 times 1 squared is 1. Multiply 5 minus a negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. 
and that should give us the negative 19. Okay. So the next one, it's got an equal sign. That means I need to work this whole expression on this side as much as I can without looking at the other side. So this is within the parentheses, something to be done. Put it back in the parentheses, it's a good habit. This is a negative one and this is a negative eight. I mean, oh, yeah, boo. <laughs> okay, so negative eight times negative one times negative eight. So three negatives make a negative left over because it's an odd number. Even numbers, positive, odd numbers, negative, just in case I put something wrong in my calculator, we want to be able to check that. So negative eight times one is a positive eight times negative eight is a negative 64. All right, and one way to be sure is to find out what all this equals. So this here and this here. So 165 divided by 15 is 11, and 15 times negative 10 is a negative 150 plus 75. Now, I could write 11 plus a negative 150 plus 75. That's the same thing. So either way... And then, let's see, so positive 11 minus 50 plus 75 should also give you a negative 64, okay? All right, um, perimeter is the distance around any shape, distance around, okay? Even if it's a totally flat, you know, we're just measuring around the sides of a desk, um, around the you know paper size around the room whatever is a distance around um but if you use a rectangle this is the formula for a rectangle okay perimeter equals two lengths plus two widths two widths plus two lengths okay length plus width plus length plus width oops is the same as two lengths plus two widths, okay? So that's how you usually see that. All right, this one says it has a rectangle length of 12. So that means that was 12. And a width of three, so the width equals three, and that's three. So we could add them up, 12 and 12 is 24, plus six is 30. Um, but we really should take a minute and plug this into the, the formula here. So 2 times the length, the length is 12, plus 2 times the width, the width is 3. PEMDAS say, that's why they're in this group, is 2 times 12 is 24, plus 6 perimeter is 30. Okay. Um, all right, translate words into equations. That means don't solve, just make an equation. That means it has to have an equal sign if it's an equation, okay? Usually, whatever is on this side of the word is goes on one side, and whatever's on this side goes on the other side. Is is an equal. So 6 plus 3 goes right there. This one has a key word that means out of order. So instead of saying 4 plus 5, I should say 5 plus 4. I would not take off for it if it's a plus because it means the same thing. And you can tell that side is 9 and that side is 9. So we're good. Okay. 4 times 2 is... Two, let's see. 4 times two. So I can also go 4 times 2 either way. And then is two more than. More than is a key word that means out of order. So six plus, that's more is plus two. Not six times, it's six more. Two more than six. Okay. Um, all right. Four is less than ten. Here's my is. Seven less one. Four is less four less than 10 so 10 minus 4 because that's also a key word that means backwards less is different than less than okay so key words for going out of order is less than more than and from so 
So less isn't one of those, believe it or not. Okay. All right. Opposites. What's an opposite have to do with? Opposites have to do with signs. So if you were looking at a uh, number line and you have a zero here and you had a three up here and a negative three down here, these are opposites of each other. Okay. So the opposite of three is a negative 3. And when you add the opposites together, you get 0. So a positive 3 added together with a negative 3. Remember, this is the same as writing it this way. Either way, you get 0 when you add its opposite. Okay? Negative 3's opposite is a positive 3. You add them together and you get a 0. Multiply or divide. So 5 times 1 fifth. Uh, that five, all whole numbers are really over one, so they're on top. So when you multiply across, five times one is five, one times five is five. And five divided by five is one, okay? Negative three times one is negative three. One times negative three is negative three. Negative three divided by negative three is one. Don't forget to reduce. Negative 3, uh, excuse me, negative 4 over 3 divided by, so keep, change, flip, negative 4 over 6. You can also go back over there, take the 2 out of that and the 1 out of there, so you get negative 2 over 3. Don't forget to keep one of the negatives, okay, a negative times a negative is a positive. So you have to kind of keep the negative. Don't lose it. That's the end of the warm-up.